Hello, I'm from the Australian Government, where we take satire seriously. That's why we're here to warn you not to fall for satirical government ads like the ones by the Juice Media, which can easily happen if you're a big knob. Take a look. If I saw this in my letterbox and I didn't look carefully at it, I'd probably think that's the coat of arms, but if I looked carefully at it, I'd realise it wasn't, so... Clearly satire, as you said earlier. It's, It's only clearly satire if you study it. He's right. You should be worried about people who impersonate the government. People like George Brandis, who, if you saw him in your letterbox and didn't look carefully, might seem like an attorney general who fights for free speech. But if you look carefully, is actually a bellend trying to ban satire and encryption to usher in a lullsless surveillance state. Or Pete, who looks like a harmless potato, but when you look carefully, is committing human rights violations against genuine refugees on Manus and Nauru. Or Chris, who looks like an arrogant prat. And if you look carefully, he is an arrogant Pratt, who also makes deals with genuinely brutal terrorist regimes. And of course, Malcolm, who from a distance might seem like a leader, but when you look closely is actually a genuine stooge. Why else would he call for a postal survey instead of a vote in Parliament? Unless he was a parody of a genuine Prime Minister. Or blow a billion bucks on another fucking coal mine instead of renewables. Unless he was impersonating someone who genuinely gives a shit about climate change. The answer, of course, is that we might look like a government that serves you, but if you look closely Mostly, our allegiance is actually to corporations, coal lobbies and raving nutbags. Fortunately for us, you're all too busy worrying about whether we're dual citizens instead of whether we're genuine sellouts and corporate ass puppets waging war on your rights, such as the right to satirise us, which you don't really have. Because while this might look like a genuine constitution, if you study it closely, it doesn't even include a fucking Bill of Rights. Authorised by the Department of Genuine Satire.